and now a 38-year-old Nigerian from Imo State, Ugo Chuku Williams, has declared his intention to contest for Office of President of Nigeria. Speaking to journalists while declaring his intention in Oweri, the capital of Imo State, Williams said it's time to give energetic youths a chance to contribute their quota to nation building. He noted that the major achievements in Nigeria were recorded when youths were leading the country. The presidential aspirant said the PDP is the only hope for Nigerians to come out of APC wars. It is time for the young people to take over. Mr. President has already said the white side, so Mr. President is going to hand over to a young Nigerian. He's going to hand over to a youth that will better this country. Then when you talk about party, yes, I've been a PDP man for a long time, and I, if you want to make a change, you must belong to a political party all over the world. And I chose to be with PDP. And running under the PDP is because we are serious. We are realistic. We are confident that this is the structure that will give us what we want. And that is why we don't want to go to a new party that, uh, that does not have a spread all over the country. What we are asking is, PDP give us a ticket, and you see people from APC, APGA, and all the smaller parties all over Nigeria, we, 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 we support us and we win. It will be like a tsunami if PDP give me a ticket today. And now joining us live is Prince Benson Davis, his editor-in-chief and the new, the new Experience newspaper. Thank you for joining us in our Prime Thank News. You. Thank Prime you. News. Good evening. Now, uh, let's take a general look at the 2023 elections. Uh, there's parents who have declared interest, Yaya Belo, Bola Chinumbu, uh, Professor Shibajo, uh, Roti Mabeji. What do you think uh, stands these men out from one another? Thank you very much. They, um, all of them are qualified uh -huh. to rule the country. But I we must have one of them that are more qualified. You see, if you go back to the Bablican uh, Moses and Joshua, there are people that have toiled for the country. Tafua Belewa, Azikwe, Awolowo, down, down to the ministry, to now we have uh, uh, Buari. They've all tried. But we need a vibrant person. Somebody who can say, this is what I will do and I will do it. A fearless person. You see, someone who have a uh, mental uh, immunase in him. Okay, that's right. Now, uh, looking at what stands them out, what stands um, one out from the other or from the others, um, let's take the, the candidates one after the other. L let's take um, uh, the oldest, perhaps, Tinumbu, uh, uh, Bola Tinumbu. Uh, what do you think stands him out, uh, um, puts him ahead of others? Then we'll look at uh, VP or Shibajo, uh, what stands him out as well. Than Amechi Yaya Belo. So, in your opinion, um, what would you say stands uh, Bola Amechi out over and above the others? For me, for me, uh, you have said it, for me, Yaya Belo is stand out among all of them. I will, I, I will choose him as one of the best person to lead the country because, of one, is young, vibrant. He, he, he has able to curb the security in, in, in Kogi State. Mm. You, you think about uh, Bola Amechi, you have tried. But right now, we need somebody that will not be taken to hospitals. But, but yeah, I, I understand yes, that. Yes. I understand where you're coming from. Mm. But um, a lot of the uh, workers in the state are complaining that it's not paying salaries. Yes. The, the, the issue of uh, not paying salaries is everywhere in Nigeria. Yeah, I mean, the economy is very, very bad. You, 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 know, you know what happened to the economy? Even, even right now, you see that almost all the states are suffering. Instead of Lagos State and few other states, the man has tried. It will be, in those days, you cannot leave Nigeria, Lagos, now you're going to Abuja. At Kogi, at Kene, Kene, there will be a problem. But now, that place is peaceful. The man took over government from Awudu. You know, you know that he was not qualified. He lost to Awudu. But, but, but fate makes him so that he will become governor of Kogi State. And since then, he has tried his best. And it's youth. He's a, he's a very, very vibrant person. If you talk about Tunebu and the rest, I agree, but they are at least they are a little bit older. Then uh, let us give to the vibrant youth that can rule Nigeria. For once, let us try somebody like uh, Yaya Bello. His name is Yaya Adoza Bello. Mm, okay. Now, um, <laughs> well, uh, so what you're saying is uh, VP or Shibaju doesn't have what it takes to rule Nigeria, but Ahmed doesn't, uh, Bola Tinobu doesn't take, uh, doesn't have what it takes. To rule the country. I told you they are qualified. 
But if I have one. When you say qualified, everybody in Nigeria is qualified. I, 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 I you. Qualified. The, people you, the people you have mentioned, they are qualified. But you have one person that is more, more qualified. That, that guy is, is 46 years old. Let us give somebody. If you go to France, they give somebody that's 40 years old. Americans, uh, Obama, uh, Clinton. They are younger and they do and they did very well. Let us try one person, one. Among all the ones you are talking about, Amechi, Dinibu, they are qualified, but Alex Biabelo is more qualified than for me. Let us give him a chance because he has done you are done you are done in you are done equilibrium well in, 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 in Gogi State. He fought the the, 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 the caliphate in Gogi State. People like uh then Melaya then. The the governor, the former governor. It's a man that a small boy that can afford, he can also do good, better in Nigeria. Okay, do you think uh, Yaya Bello has the structure, the political structure, and the backbone mm. to, to win an election of that magnitude in Nigeria? Now, look at it now. Small boy came from Kogi State, a very small village. He has about from, from six children, he's the least person. He's, he's the smallest among the small, six children. He came from Kogi State. He, 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 he had an election with APC with Aodu. He lost. But fit happened that. Yeah, you said that earlier. That's in a state. Yeah. I'm talking of uh, the uh, in national, not in the state I'm, election. I'm coming from the states. Yeah. Then a, a guy that can be able to fight the, 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 the bigger ones in Kogi State was able to rule Kogi State today. He can also do the same thing. Give him a chance. Nobody, nobody has, nobody, no, nobody says this man, I, 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 I'm, I'm the owner of Nigeria. No. Okay. Um, Bola what do you think of him? But in it's okay. He was able to. Have a very good structure. He build the, the western, the, the, the west, the west, the, the, the west from AD to a, a, APC to APC. He was able to do a thing that even today they are benefiting from Lagos State and, and the rest. And it was one time only Lagos State was under APC yeah. AD. But at the point of two, he was able to do that. Do that at the point he even won about five states in in, 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 in the west. He has tried his best, but won. Medically. We don't want anybody to take to, to run to, to to London and the rest again. Yeah, you said that earlier. We've come to that. We've, we've been on that, and we've moved on from that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, now um, let's look at the next candidate, Amechi. Mm -hmm. uh, no doubt, uh, is a strong, is a strong force. Uh, do you think uh, the cap fits him? I've told you, none of them can able to stand Abelu. One, Amechi. Amechi is. Uh, I may just started. I may just started his political journey as a youth. Let me bring. Hang on. Let me let me bring you. Uh, let me give you a certain background. He used to be uh, uh, speaker at the House of Assembly in the state. Then became governor. Then minister. Two time governor. Two time minister. So he. One would think he has the political portfolio. Does he have the crowd? To run. Now where do you get the crowd? Does he have the crowd? Where do you get the he crowd? Does he have the crowd? From? One. Even in River State. It, for now, it's politically is no. You, you cannot say that because it, that's like um, uh, taking sides already. I can see whom whom you you. It's obvious no, what no, side no, you're no, taking. No, 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 But then well, I need us to be dispassionate about. I, I, I'm I'm viewing all of them: Latinibu, Amechi, Zimbabwe, and the rest. Among them, I'm telling you that Yabelo stands the test of time. I know Amechi very well, I, and Amechi from River State. He was, a, he was a speaker for, nine, for eight years. He was the governor. And you know, the way he came to the governor, you know it. And it as he did in the uh, uh, Minister of Transport, what has he done? Oh, no. Um, I, I, I do not want to uh, take sides, and neither do I want to uh, hold brief for anyone. But then uh, it's obvious what he has been able to um, bring together in the transportation sector, yeah. uh, the rail system and all that. But then, um, uh, come to think of it, we've got to be dispassionate and we've got to be as uh, disinterested as possible when we're looking at issues like this. I do not have anything against uh, you taking side with any particular politician or candidate, but it's important for us to know that uh, the, the especially this coming election, is a critical one in the history of Nigeria, and we cannot afford to be sentimental about it. So let's look at a, a current VP. Yes. The vice president is yes. a professor of law. I, hang I, on, hang I, on. I, I he's a professor of law, yeah, yeah. and he's been in the, uh, he's been into enterprise yes. for for years, and he's gone through tutelage, political tutelage, mm -hmm. from, uh, uh, well, <laughs> Senator Bola Ahmed mm -hmm. So what we think is go the credentials. Um, and and the 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 verve, the energy, the intellect 
to, to rule the country. What do you make of it? Yeah, um, 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 VP Shibanzo is a very, very intellectual, is brilliant, and the rest, but in Nigeria, it's not brilliant that can rule Nigeria. What, what can rule Nigeria? Yeah, look at it now. He, he has been VP for the past seven years. He has not done anything meaningful in the country because of what? As a VP. Do you understand the position? Do you understand the constitutional rules of the VP? Do you yes, remember? Yes, yes, yes. See, if I don't want anybody to come to the to, to be a, a president of and use so, somehow religious. No. Uh, so what should way. he have done? What should he have done? Now, he has not been able to prove himself. How should he have proven himself? Yes. Look at it now. You see, when. You, you are, they make you incapacitated in the government. You cannot do anything. You resign. How was he made incapacitated? Yes. How, how should yes. he have no, look uh, at it now. Uh, performed? Okay, look at it now. The uh, uh, 2019 election, he went around, I'm giving a, 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 a market to maintenance on error. Eh? Can, you, uh, can you prove this? Can you substantiate it? Yes, it was, it, 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 it did it now. It did it. How can you, how can you substantiate this? It, it, Remember, it, it, you're talking about a lawyer. Yes. What if he's watching you? you, you, you says you, you, it says it, it happened in Nigeria, and it, it, was, it was giving them money for to... Remember, you're talking about a lawyer. What yes. if he's watching you? Yes, he, let, let him watch. Let him watch. The, the point is that he, will, he, he won't be able to rule Nigeria effectively. Get me now? Because, one, Tinibu would have been the best way to rule the country. Because, one, he has the crowd. He has the system, the way to do it. He will do it, but one thing for him that, for right now, medically, we want a strong person, a vibrant person, a youth that can stand the test of time to win Nigeria. And I believe from all what you are saying, I am not, I am not for Bolafin, I am not for Yilabelo. I am not, I, I, I believe for him. But from the, for the, one, for the ones you have shown me, I believe he is the person that I think can be able to rule the country. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us in our primetime news tonight. Thank you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.